What is a real American Pit Bull Terrier? The American Pit Bull Terrier is a purebred dog breed recognized by the United Kennel Club and American Dog Breeders Association, but not the American Kennel Club. It is a medium-sized, solid-built, intelligent, short-haired dog. The American Pit Bull Terrier varies in size. Males normally around 18 to 21 inches in height and around 35 to 60 pounds in weight. Females are normally around 17 to 20 inches in height and about 30 to 50 pounds in weight. The American Pit Bull Terrier is one of those so-called bully breeds often labeled as a pit bull. In fact, quote unquote, pit bull isn't a breed, but a term used to describe the American Pit Bull Terrier, the Bull Terrier, the American Staffordshire Terrier, and the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. The confusion started when the AKC gave it the new name, the American Staffordshire Terrier, to separate it from its fighting past, making it the civilized pit bull. The American Staffordshire Terrier has been recognized by the AKC, while the American Pit Bull Terrier has not. Despite the use of the word pit bull to encompass a whole category of dogs and the legal use of the term to include several breeds, some professional breeders of the American Pit Bull Terrier, as well as some experts and supporters, claim that historically the American Pit Bull Terrier is the only true pit bull and the only breed that should be dominated as such. So chances are if your dog exceeds any of these measurements in height and weight, they are probably mixed with a larger dog breed. What colors can the real American Pit Bull Terrier be? American Pit Bull Terrier's most common colors are red, black, buckskin, and fawn. They rarely did come in the color blue, but yes, there are real blue American Pit Bull Terriers. The terms red nose and blue nose are often mistaken as a specific kind of breed for the American Pit Bull Terrier, but this is actually false. The terms used should only be used as the actual color of the dogs, the nose, or the fur. Not every bully type breed that is blue or red should be considered a real American Pit Bull Terrier. Here's a brief historic background of the American Pit Bull Terrier. Terriers and Old English Bulldogs were bred together to produce a dog that combined the gameness of the terrier with the strength and athleticism of the bulldog. These dogs named Bull and Terriers were bred in the British Isles and arrived in the United States in the late 19th century where they became the direct ancestors of the American Pit Bull Terrier. In the United Kingdom, Bull and Terriers were used in blood sports such as bull baiting and bear baiting. These blood sports were officially eliminated in 1835 when Britain introduced animal welfare laws. Since dog fightings are cheaper to organize and far easier to conceal from the law than bull or bear baits, blood sport owners turned to their pitting their dogs against each other instead. Dog fighting was used both as a blood sport and a way to continue to test the quality of their dogs. For decades afterwards, dog fighting took place in small areas of Britain. These dogs arrived in America around 1850 to 1860 where the dog fighting practice had continued, a new American dog breed has arrived. On February 10th, 1898, the breed was recognized by the United Kennel Club named as the American Pit Bull Terrier. Originally bred to bait bulls, the breed evolved into all-around farm dogs and later moved into the house to become nanny dogs because they were so gentle around children. Their tenacity, gameness, and courage make them popular competitors in the sports of weight pulling, agility, and obedience competition. The American Pit Bull Terrier's tenacity made them chosen by wrongful dog fighting owners, giving them a bad reputation. These dogs are a power breed, loyal, and are known for never quitting. I am not for dog fighting in any way, shape, or form, but the American Pit Bull Terrier is naturally dog aggressive and animal aggressive. The determination they have made them natural fighting dogs. Even when they are getting injured, trampled on, or molted to death in the fighting ring, they will still wag their tails as if they are having fun and wanting more of it. These dogs do not quit. What can you expect when owning an American Pit Bull Terrier? Expect a lot of people to hate and discriminate on this dog breed. The news and media have really shined a dark light onto these dogs. Time needs to be invested into these dogs to really get a good understanding of how the dog is and what it could do for you. These dogs are human friendly, which actually makes them a bad guard dog because they want to greet every person with love and a wagging tail. In public places, your dog has to be on its best behavior just because of the rep they have. People will avoid your pit bull, threaten your pit bull, or even cause harm to your dog. It happens more than it should, so what you could do as a pit bull owner is make sure your dog is obedient in public, well behaved, and take precaution in any situation, regardless of the location, time, or day.